Well, now that you have a pattern, if you're going to do it this way, build yourself a bass drum pattern, which utilizes the first space. Let's build on that. Now I'm going to add a simple snare drum pattern. Again, don't use my pattern. Create your own pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to choose beat number two. And I clicked on the bass drum. And when I go above the bass drum with my mouse, it shows all the little lines and spaces where I could add something. So I'm going to go right into the third space on beat number two. And I'm going to go to beat number four in the first measure. I'm going to click on the bass drum. Make sure my mouse is right dead center of the bass drum, not after it, not just to select to move. Or you can just, you know, you can really just move your highlight over with your your uh, right and left mouse. But if you're a, a mouse user, then use your mouse. Or if you have a touch screen, if you have a touch screen, you could probably use your touch screen. Uh, which I don't have right now, so I'm just using my regular laptop, okay? All right, I'm going to add beat four by placing the mouse in the third space and clicking on it. I'm going to do the same thing in the second measure. This, I'm sorry, in the third measure. We're in the third measure, beat number two. I'm going to click on the bass drum. The point of my mouse is going to be right on the note. Then I'm going to... All right, let me, let me try using the mouse and see how that works. Yep, you can use the, I mean, the arrow keys. Use the arrow keys if that's better for you. All right, and now I'm going to just slightly, I'm going to put my mouse there. Now, your technique for your mouse is really important. If you are clicking before you get your note placement exactly where you want, then you're going to be using this undo key a lot. All right. And until you get used to it, you may have to do that. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for this right now. So this is what it sounds like. Oh, I have to put it in the beginning. So I'm going to use this or just make sure, again, that my highlight is there, which can move back and forth. All right, let's hear what it sounds like. And I'm going to make it a little faster. I'm going to change this 80 to 100. All right, here we go. Okay, so now it's your turn to layer, start layering your beat or your project. And you don't have to do a snare drum. You can use whatever you like.